I'm Jackson Hideki from Royal Botanical Gardens and I'm about to go birding and I need to share some tips and tricks with you so that you are comfortable going outside and exploring nature in the winter time and exploring birds specifically. Now, it's not just as easy as just going outside and, and that's it, go finding a trail and boom, you gotta find your way there, you gotta know where you're going, but before that even begins, you gotta be prepared. So, before anyone decides to go outside at all, gear up. I'm wearing multiple layers right now. I'm real hot already. But before I go outside, I wanna get the rest of my warm gear on. So I've got multiple base layers on. I've got a buff for my neck. I've got a toque. I'm wearing snow pants. I've got a big winter jacket. I've got my mask. I've called a friend. I've let them know where I'm going. But now it's time to find some birds. But wait, where are birds gonna be when it's minus 15 outside? Now, if you know me, there's one thing I always talk about, and that's habitat. Let's go find some good birding habitat. Let's go! Food, water, shelter, air, and space are something that all living things need to survive. So where can a bird find shelter, food, and water in the winter? If you can answer those questions, you'll probably find some birds. RBG's Arboretum has a large crabapple collection that holds on to apples long into the winter time. Nothing here now, though. I head into the woods, looking and listening in the canopy on the ground. I do hear something off in the distance. What could it be? A lot of times, your best bet is to get to a spot and just wait and be quiet and be still and just listen. Sometimes the birds will tell you that they're there before you even know they're there. You know what bird that was? Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it goes. Aha. That's what was making that noise. A Carolina wren. Small, with a powerful voice. See ya, buddy. Who else do we have? A hairy woodpecker. There's a little black capped chickadee. Everything went quiet for a while, and I found out why. This red tailed hawk flew in and just waited. A typical hunting device of this bird is just to sit and watch and listen. Huh, the same advice I just gave you. So we've gone from habitat that consists of collections. We've gone into the forest. We've seen some meadows. We've looked in some thickets. And now we get to a spot down here at the Coots Paradise Marsh. Whenever I get to a big open expanse like this, one thing I like to do is do a scan, a left to right, right to left scan, whatever it is, with my binoculars, just to see if something's out there. Because as you can see, there's ice all over the place. But there are a few things sitting out there. So let's use the scope and see if I can narrow in what it could be. Well, well, well. If it isn't a bald eagle. And look what it's done. It's stolen some food likely from those two gulls who have no choice but to just sit there and watch their food be eaten. Let's see what else we can find. Here we are at a perfect food source for winter finches. Anytime you come across an evergreen tree that's full of cones like this, stop, take a look, take a listen, for this is a perfect food source for birds. You never know what you'll find. Well, look who we have here. Atop a coniferous tree, a blue jay, surveying the land, looking for its next spot to go. Later. No leaves on the trees makes it easier to see something like a dark-eyed junco hanging out in a thicket. Soon, this bird will depart on migration, heading back up north, and we won't see them again until next fall. Hope you had a good winter, bud. Fallen leaves provide excellent habitat for insects and other invertebrates to last throughout the winter. 
It's also a space then for birds like this northern cardinal to be able to sift through and seek a tasty meal on a cold winter's day. This is also a great reminder to leave your leaves well into the springtime so that many birds like this cardinal or this song sparrow or any returning migrants can use those spaces to seek a well-deserved meal before plants start to produce flowers and nectar and seeds. Holes in trees might be easier to see and in them could be a little surprise. Some birds will seek shelter in these spaces. Who do we have here? Sleeping soundly in the sun. A red morph eastern screech owl rests after a night of hunting. We can thank our woodpecker friends like this red-bellied woodpecker for not only seeking out invasive species like the emerald ash borer, but creating habitat for some of its feathered friends. Winter's also a good time to listen, especially if you're something that gets eaten by birds like this northern shrike. Or just to listen to the sounds that birds make, like this American tree sparrow. You know, in the end, no matter how still you are, how calm you are, how prepared you are, what gear you have, sometimes it's just all about luck. Being in the right place at the right time to see a cool bird. And in the end, you get to be in nature, which is the reason for it all. So for Royal Botanical Gardens, been Jackson Hudecki. Stay inquisitive, stay birdie, stay real.